Hello everyone, this is Miguel Greenberg and today the topic is threads and specifically how do you kill them. Um, so the short answer is you don't. Uh, a Python thread cannot be killed. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you a couple of ways that you can get close to the idea of killing a thread which as I said does not work. Um, so I created this little example that runs a background thread. It runs for uh, approximately half a minute and it, it, it's a fake thing. It, it just uh, prints some, some lines and then sleeps and then at the end it prints a summary. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this application works and as you can see uh, it's running and now let's say I want to interrupt it so I press Control C and it doesn't really work if I do it a second time then it does work but uh, the first one uh, the the main thread gets the exception the keyboard interrupt but the thread keeps going so the most common trick that uh, that you will see that uh, that people recommend for making threads more friendly when an application is interrupted or when an application needs to exit is to make them daemon threads and this is something that I particularly don't like very much but uh, basically all you need to do is before you start the thread is you need to set the daemon property of the thread to true so now let's do this again and now if I interrupt now the thread is able to exit cleanly when the main thread wants to exit the application uh, so why I don't like this uh, this provides no opportunity for the thread to do cleanup uh, you can see that the thread has a final summary line and uh, if, if we assume that this is some sort of cleanup that needs to happen uh, at the end of the thread, even if the thread is interrupted, then you, you don't get this. It, it doesn't happen. Basically, the thread stops when the main thread wants to exit and, uh, and that's it. it. It gets no chance to, to do any cleanup operations. So that is why I don't like this. So I'm going to show you what I consider to be a much better way to do this. So. I'm not going to do this and instead I'm going to use a Python event to signal the thread to let the thread know that we want it to exit so how does that work uh, I'm going to start by creating a uh, let's call it exit event so this is this is from the threading uh, module uh, event so we create the event and then here in the thread we have a loop and inside that loop we can check the uh, we can check the state of the event so if the event is set we're going to break and this is going to be the uh, the indication that that we have to exit the thread so the event is going to be set at the time we want to exit and then of course we we get to do cleanup because the the final line will get to run before the thread finally releases control and allows the whole process to end uh, so what we are going to do now is we, we need to have a way to set this event at the proper time and for this it, it really depends on what type of condition you would like to handle uh, with the example that I'm using, which is to uh, to interrupt the application with Control C, the uh, the correct thing to do will be to set up a signal handler that catches the Control C event, and then at that point it can signal the thread to exit. So uh, we are going to import signal, and then before we start. Uh, doing the, uh, the the threading work we can set the signal and this is uh, going to be signal dot, dot sig int which is the uh, the interrupt signal and then our handler is going to be let's say signal handler so this is going to be a function I'm going to write that function 
this function takes uh, two arguments the signal number and the frame argument that we are not uh, going to use in this case so what we need to do here is signal the event and this is done with exit event dot set and that's pretty much it so now we can we can run the application and if I press control C the uh, the signal handler signals the event the thread gets the uh, the signal exits the loop at any time and then uh, it, it continues running it doesn't immediately exit so it gets a chance to to print this last line which you can see it shows that it, it was a partial run it shows the six iterations in this case were completed and that's it uh, but at least if this was a real thing you will you will have a chance to close database connections and you know what have you uh, all, all those things can be done before the application exits uh, so there you go this is pretty simple and uh, it will give you a, a little bit more robustness in your uh, your threaded application thank you so much bye bye